hi people we are still on moving to portugal season and the last video i did was on how to declare your interest when you want to move to portugal using the job seeker visa route and so today we are going to talk about the next stage what is the next step after declaring your interest if you know this is what you are interested in make sure you stick to the end of this video and my name is Stella this is EMGS channel where we talk about moving abroad we have lots of gist for you so tighten your seatbelt and now let's get started welcome back guys so remember that the last video we did we stood you on how to declare your interest now today is what happens after you have declared your interest so normally what you should do after declaring your interest is that you need to go ahead with your visa application stage but wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute do not rush because remember what happens on the visa application stage is you are getting your documents you are taking your documents to these people and you are showing them oh this is my documents i have all my documents so if you haven't gathered all the necessary documents yet i will advise you to hold on right the first video we did on portugal visa that's the job seeker visa the one i'm talking about today we listed certain documents that you must have i'm going to put up the link just click it and go and watch it all right and if you don't know how to declare your interest also click on this link and watch it so remember we did a video on that right now we did this video and we showed you how to go about the whole process we told you about the document like your international passport we told you about getting your insurance documents your police reports remember that for your proof of fund you need at least three months like three months money that is going to take care of you when you get to portugal the normal money to take care of you in portugal is like 750 that's like their minimum wage or minimum expectance for you to have every month so if you multiply that by three you should be needing at least 2800 euros for you to have in your account you need to convert that to your own country currency so you need to accept do you have that certain amount of money if you don't have and you have a sponsor have your sponsor written a letter declaring that he's going to sponsor you right uh, uh, has he written any affidavit stuff that has been signed and said that he's the one that's going to sponsor everything has your sponsor giving you his bank statements because this is very, very important before you go about the next stage so you need to ensure that all your documents are ready now there are certain documents that you need to at least authenticate have you authenticated those documents have you taken it to the ministry of affairs to authenticate them these are questions you need to ask yourself before you move ahead to the next stage okay now let's say you have sure that you've gotten all your documents you are prepared then we'll go to the next stage at this next stage you will go to vfs.global I'm going to put the link in the description so you can have a look on how to go about the process okay now you come down and you will see where they say apply for a visa then you will click on start now once you have clicked on start now you will see identify visa type choose the right visa for your trip you click on view more then you come down to the first step is to determine which visa type you need and check whether you are eligible to apply for it you also need to know the documents that you have to submit along with your application and how long your application might take and the fees you have to pay each application must comply with the guidelines applicable for your visa category if your documents are not in english you may need to get translators prepared before applying then they'll tell you begin your application get started with your visa application so next you come down here and you will see once you are ready to apply you can download the visa application form you come here and you will click on download 
so you will see the different type they'll ask you which type of visa i remember we are looking for what job seeker visa that's what we are looking for here so we'll click on job seeker visa then we'll come down and say okay this is the type of visa we want take it to a place where you can download this form if you can't find this page don't you worry i'm going to put the link in the description so that you can download it and go ahead with your application so this photo page is for your passport photograph so you put it there then number one your family name then the next one if you have any former name probably you're married or something you put there or you're divorced you put there your first name is for number three number four is your date of birth number five is your place of birth where you were given birth to number six is your country of birth number seven is your country nationality and if it's different you put your nationality at birth number eight is your sex are you a male or female number nine is your CV status are you married single divorce or every other reasons that are there you put there number 10 is parental authority this is for if you have a legal one um a minor following you probably your kids or if you're a minor you put there but if not no need of putting anything there then 11 is national identity number where applicable so if you have one fine but if you don't have one don't bother yourself there then type of documents ordinary passport or other travel documents so there are different type of travel passports so if you have just the normal passport you just put ordinary passport if you have another type you put the number of the doc you put the name there and also you put your number of travel documents so the number on your passport you put there the date it was issued the valid date and issued by the country then next is personal data of the family who is an eu this is not for everybody so i don't think most of my subscribers are eu citizens anyway so i believe this is not applicable to you so 17 and 18 not applicable to you 19 is your home address and email please ensure your email address is the one that is functional and your home address ensure that it's the one that you are going to use for your bank statements and your utility bills proof it's very important the one that you use for your proof of address so you don't have different discrepancies during your application that might get your application rejected and then you put your phone number next you put your resident in a country other than the country of nationality so if you are not currently in your country of origin you put it there and if you have a resident permit you put there and valid on what date you put it there then also you put your current occupation um, your employer and your employer's address their phone number and their address and um, for students name and address of your educational establishment then this is a job seeker visa so obviously you have to put like your employer kind of thing because you are saying you have an experience in your country you want to come and bring that experience to portugal so it has to be your employer own you're putting there so next you're putting is um purpose of the journey study training work so obviously it's for work you're coming there to search for work so you're going to click on work then next is number 24 additional information on purpose of stay you are coming there to seek for a job through the job seeker visa route so that's the additional information they need then next is member states of main destination so let's say you when you get to portugal or before you get to portugal you want to go to another country before you get to portugal you put there but i believe most of us are going to portugal so we'll just click on portugal just portugal that we are going to then 26 member state of first entry if you are going to any other one you put there so um number 27 is number of entries requested because this visa kind is kind of under the temporary stay, so you probably put temporary stay there because you have to first get a job before they give you your full residency so this is just a temporary stay visa it's only for six months remember and if you get a job then you can switch to a residential visa internet date of arrival you put there internet date of departure remember you must put your date of departure there and you must have also booked your flight ticket that's one of the other requirements 28 is fingers collected previous that's non-applicable so you can leave that 
then 29 is entry permit for the final country of destination that's not applicable for you 30 is son name and first name of the inviting person so if you have someone that is inviting you over to portugal you can put it there and there um, and all the other information but if not applicable you should name the hotel and temporary accommodation so remember that you must put the accommodation you are staying the name of the street the name of the accommodation how long you are staying so it's at this point you'll be putting the information and all the details at that stage then number 31 it says the name and address of the inviting company or organization so if you have a company that is inviting you you put there well that's for those that are applying for work visa but if you don't have any company inviting you you know that you are you can put no applicable you can put job seeker visa there that you come in there on a job seeker visa the next is cost of traveling and living during the applicant stay is covered so they want to know how are you covering it so is it by the applicants themselves are there means of support so if anyone is supporting you you click how the person is supporting you there if you're sponsoring yourself you put there so there's the first one is by applicants themselves the second one is by app sponsor or host or company or whatsoever you click and you put how are you doing it is it through cash is it through credit card is it through travelers check you click whatever means you are using so most of the time you probably put in cash and then by the applicant themselves then you have to reach through all this that you are aware that the visa fee is not refundable if the visa is not or if the visa is refused so you have to click that yes you're aware is a non-refundable fee then you put the date and time and then you sign your name make sure you read this document correctly make sure you're not making any mistake now for this other part is for official use only so do not bother to put um, or to fill that side because it says it is for official use only all right so this is how to go about filling this document now once you have filled this document you know you have to print it out and fill it with your hand so once you have filled it then you will take this form and other documents to the visa appointment so this is just number one after downloading and filling that document remember you can just download that document and keep it and print it wherever but you need to complete the number three stage which is you need to come down here and book an appointment so when you click on book an appointment once you click on book an appointment they will tell you okay book now you click on book now and then if you haven't created any account it's at this stage you have to create an account but if you already have an account like i have already created an account so i have already created an account with them so i'll come here and click start new booking and then they will actually choose your two visa center so because during my um registration when i was creating this account they've already asked me where i am um, where is my country and all that so they already know that i am based in nigeria based on what i filled on this particular form and they know that there are two centers in nigeria so they will come and say there are two centers so you will click on one of the center then they will ask you which visa category are you using so you will click on national d visa okay then you come down here and they'll ask you what's your category you click on job seeker if there's an appointment fine but if there's no appointment they'll tell you we are sorry but no appointment slots are currently available new slots open at regular interval please try again later you can decide to go ahead and change it to another of the location in your country and see if you have an appointment but you need to keep an eye especially during the nice early hours of the morning at times um, you have to check for you to look for an appointment once you have gotten an appointment then you know you've kept the appointment on that day you get all your documents and go to this to the um and go to and go and submit it that's why i said you need to be prepared you need to get all your document because you can be lucky you just log in and then there's a and there's 
an availability for you probably next week and you don't have all your documents you've lost that opportunity already so you need to be prepared yes this visa will expire maybe 2025 or 2026 but or they'll have to review it to see um if this job seeker visa will still continue by next year next two years but you need to ensure that you have all the documents ready at least give yourself a target okay like from now to the next six months i'll prepare everything or from now to the next three months before i go ahead with any other process now if you are able to successfully book your visa appointment you pay your fee and then you need to pay your visa application fee so they'll tell you what after paying your visa application fee next is you have to visit the test center at your um, appointed date that's your schedule and you have to submit your completed visa application form at the visa center in person so remember you are getting your documents you're getting your visa application form and you are going there in person to go and submit it all right and then you can track your application to see if it's successful and then if it's successful you can collect your passport or you can go back later to get your passport and then know the result of the process. so guys i hope i have been able to show you the process like i said do not rush take your time and ensure you have the right documents you can see that to get an appointment time is not easy so why would you want to get this time and then at the end of the day not get this visa like so it's very important that you are prepared next video i'm going to do is going to be on websites and agencies that recuse international people remember you can start applying from your home country or when you get to the country that is portugal but you know that being in portugal gives you an advantage but you knowing this companies and you starting to apply on time gives you an edge and remember you just have four months initially which can extend to two extra months so you need to be on your game you need to be on your zoom all right okay thank you so much for watching this video my name is stella and see you in our next video remember to like to subscribe to our channel and to hit that notification bell before i forget if you know that you will struggle or you are struggling to go about this process or carry it out by yourself you can seek professional help and express is one of your best plug you can send an email at expressinfo.studyabroad at gmail.com and we will help you to carry out this process okay we will help you to carry out your application but at the end of the day the visa still depends on the portuguese consulate who is going to give you the visa but these are people that have done it tested and trusted so you can go ahead and they can help you okay now remember i'm not an immigration specialist it's only the information that is on lying to everybody that i share here on this youtube page don't forget to like to subscribe to our channel and to hit that notification bell because we have hot gist for you okay see you in our next video and bye for now